என் பேர் சௌமியா ஃபோர்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் கலெக்டர் ஆகணும் ஆசை பேர் முத்துக்குமாருங்க நான் வேலைக்கு வேண்டி நான் இப்போது பிகாம் படிச்சிருக்கேன்னு சொல்லிட்டு நிறையா கம்பெனிலேருந்து இப்போ இன்டர்வியூலாம் அட்டன் பண்ணேன் அங்கே போனோம்னா இங்கிலீஷ் நாலேஜ் வேணுங்கிறாங்க இங்கே கிராமத்து ஏரியாவில் கிடைக்கிறது இந்த தோட்ட வேலை அந்த மாதிரி தான் பாமாங்க என் பேர் ரெண்டு குழந்தை இருக்குதுங்க எனக்கு நான் நைட்டும் பகலும் செஞ்சு காப்பாற்றி தான் நான் படிக்க வைக்கணுங்க நல்ல முறையாக படித்து என்னையாட்ட வேலைக்கு வரக்கூடாதுங்க கூலி வேலைக்கு அவங்க நல்லா படித்து டாக்டரா இன்ஜினியராக ஏதாவது ஒரு வேலை வரணும்னு நாங்கள் ஆசைப்படுறோங்க வந்து நம்ம கஷ்டம் அந்த காலத்துலேயே வந்து கஷ்டமாக இருந்ததுனால நம்மளால் படிக்க வைக்க முடியல அதே மாதிரி நம்ம ஓரளவுக்கு டெவலப் படிக்க வச்சா தான் நம்ம குழந்தைங்க நம்மளால் கூட நல்லா இருக்கணும் அப்படிங்கிறக்காக நான் நம்ம கஷ்டப்பட்டு இப்போ இது பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கிறேங்க இந்தியா என் ஏன்ஷியன் கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் ரிச் ஹெரிட்டேஜ் நவ் என் எமர்ஜிங் எக்கனாமிக் பவர் பினீத் திஸ் பியூட்டிஃபுல் வேல் இஸ் அன் அலார்மிங் ரைஸ் இன் இனிக்விட்டிஸ் வித் த ரைசிங் பாப்புலேஷன் ஆஃப் ஓவர் ஒன் பில்லியன் த மெஜாரிட்டி ஆஃப் தேம் still live below minimum subsistence levels of less than $2 a day primarily in rural areas rising aspirations are met with virtually non-existent infrastructure and an absence of opportunities education which offers the greatest opportunity for empowerment is sorely below par india's rural masses have the latent potential to contribute and share in the growth of this country Today if you walk into any village I don't know how many people are connected with the rural life we have a major project in the rural areas if you walk into any village almost 60% of the men have not even their skeletal system has not grown to its full size do you know this this is a big big disaster that's happening in the country that nobody is paying any attention this means you are producing a whole substandard humanity underdeveloped humanity This is the biggest quiet disaster that's happening in the country right now. It doesn't make noises, it doesn't make a big scene like a tsunami or an earthquake or something, but very quietly this disaster is happening. If one's body does not develop fully, his mind also will not develop fully. So you have a substandard humanity and you're thinking of being the leaders of the world in 21st century, no such thing will happen. No such thing can happen with substandard humanity. India still lives in its villages. The rural potential remains unrealized because of the poor quality of basic education. 95% of the rural schools are run by the government. While it is estimated that the government spends about 9157 rupees per child, the education quality is abysmally poor. Untrained and unmotivated teachers result in substandard education quality and higher dropouts. Children who need to be in school often take up menial jobs as a means to support their family and education takes a back seat. A recent survey estimates that children in class 8 can barely manage class 2 levels of mathematics and English skills. More importantly, the children passing out of this system lack basic skill sets and are incapable of pursuing higher education and are largely unemployable. If this situation is not corrected, India and its rural population will be left out in the global race to economic prosperity. Sadhguru's vision is to transform the quality of rural population by providing affordable, high-quality school education so that the native intelligence of rural children has the opportunity to bloom. 
Isha Vidya in the first phase of this initiative will set up one school in each of the 206 taluks of Tamil Nadu. These schools will be designed to deliver confident, English-speaking, computer-skilled students who will be equipped to pursue higher education and employment in a competitive environment on par with students from good urban schools. We are doing a major effort in the rural areas to bring this up, which will produce over 20,000 well-educated people in 12 years' time. Every year it will churn out 20,000 people. 20,000 people coming out who can speak and write and read English and who are computer friendly with little yoga in their heart will be a huge contribution to the business in, the, in this country. Isha Vidya, a sustainable and scalable model, will deliver results within the constraints of the local resources. Going beyond literacy and rudimentary education, Isha Vidya will contribute to India's growth by providing a continuous stream of qualified personnel to take India to a level of self-sustenance while at the same time empowering its rural masses. By providing an affordable, high-quality education in rural areas, Isha Vidya will produce children who are academically, physically and mentally capable of facing any situation with confidence and ease. The uniquely designed pedagogy will deliver joyous individuals with character, team spirit, self-reliance, dignity, a generation capable of productive participation in IT-enabled services, retail, industry or higher education. Above all, Isha Vidya promises to produce confident, English-speaking, computer-skilled youth while preserving the identities of their origins and culture. If they just manage this and the children that you come out of these educational systems know how to speak English, they're computer-friendly and a little more stable within themselves, if you just produce this, you will have a large base of humanity, educated humanity, which will be an incredible asset in future. The first phase by itself is an endeavor of tremendous magnitude. Isha is aware of the challenges that it must face to mount, sustain and deliver the objectives of such an endeavor. The Isha fraternity, inspired by Sadhguru, is not new to undertaking seemingly impossible tasks. Action for Rural Rejuvenation, Isha Crafts and Project Green Hands are examples of how large-scale projects can be successfully implemented. The inspiration provided by Sadhguru has created an active volunteer force which exceeds 250,000 globally and growing every day. Apart from the numbers, the dedication and quality of this force is a distinguishing feature. It includes hundreds of eminent, accomplished, highly qualified and experienced individuals from various walks of life from all parts of the globe. It is this volunteer force which makes seemingly impossible tasks attainable. The first Isha Vidya school was started on June 19, 2006 at Sunday Gaundam Palayam, Coimbatore with 263 students from kindergarten to class 2 catering to 26 nearby villages. Isha Foundation, apart from providing each child with a scholarship of Rs. 2,500 for the first year, provides a nutritional health supplement. Health and education is the most important aspect because a nation is not land, nation is people. Health and education is the core of nation. It's time, industry and private corporations invest in health and education. You don't have to see it as charity, you see it as investment. If you plant a coconut tree, you're waiting ten years to see money, isn't it? Simple farming, you're wa willing to wait ten years. If you invest in proper education and health in the villages, seventy percent of the population is right there. If you invest properly now, if you will have a healthy crop of people coming up in the next ten to twelve years. Golden yellow round mangoes, juicy plump and sweet mangoes. Golden yellow round mangoes, juicy plump and sweet mangoes, green and sour raw mangoes. At 
short and short, thin and long, mangoes to eat all day long. Mangoes, ripe mangoes, red mangoes, sweet mangoes. Aapus to tapuri, langada bagana palli. Aapus to tapuri, langada bagana palli. Malagoba and pairi, fat and short, thin and long, mangoes to eat all day long. Mangoes, ripe mangoes, red mangoes, sweet mangoes. Mangoes, ripe mangoes, red mangoes, sweet mangoes. Mangoes, ripe mangoes, red mangoes, sweet mangoes. <laughs>